everything you need to know about the covid vaccine i'm dr nikhil a consultant doctor at healthify me in today's video i'll be taking you through the information and myths around the covid vaccines and hope to make it easier for you to get covid fit what vaccines are out there in india we currently have two vaccines covaxin and covishield covaxin has been made by the organization Bharat Biotech with support from the National Institute of Virology in Pune and the ICMR. Covishield on the other hand is the licensed AstraZeneca vaccine created by Oxford. It is currently being utilized by the Serum Institute of India. The Covishield vaccine has a 90% efficacy and the Covaxin only around 81%. but this is based on trials that are not completely reliable this efficacy is only coming into place after your second dose of vaccine which needs to be given at least 28 days after your first dose this means that for about a month and a half after your first dose you will still not be truly vaccinated both of these vaccines are given intramuscularly by an injection who can get vaccinated covaxin can be given to people aged 12 years and above covi shield has been approved for people aged 18 years and above how can you get vaccinated the government has launched covid a platform where you can get registered to get vaccinated and to help people find available slots in their area healthify me has come up with a web application vaccinate me Once registered you will get notified about any free slots where you can book an appointment around you. Now common side effects of the vaccine can include things like fever, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, shivering and chills, diarrhea and a little bit of pain at the site of the injection. But these are all normal and if they are there it's nothing to worry about. but if they are causing you a lot of distress it's perfectly normal to go to a healthcare worker or hospital and ask for some help for that problem and usually a paracetamol works just fine for most of these how does the vaccine work the vaccine works by providing items for our immune system to react to covaxin tries to use a living but inactivated form of the corona virus this is essentially the whole living corona virus but in a severely weakened form the covi shield vaccine uses a protein from the original covid virus inserts it into a common cold type virus called adenovirus and inserts this virus into our body the adenovirus causes no infection but it gives us the spike protein the covid-19 spike protein for our immune system to get used to and attack and the spike protein is the primary way that covid enters our body through our lungs and so it's really great to have our immune system directed against it covaxin contains the live but weakened virus so it's more likely to cause a few of the fever chills body ache type side effects covi shield is more likely to cause some of the allergic type of side effects like pain and redness at the site of injection precautions post vaccination what about after both doses of the vaccine are you going to be totally safe no You could still get the covid virus although in a week away so if you have a compromised immunity you could also still get a severe form of the infection as well so the second point is what do we do post vaccination well even if you are not going to get infected badly you could still infect others so continue to limit the number of people you meet and hang out with if you were to meet a few friends one of whom was carrying it you could still take that back with you while being vaccinated 
and give it to somebody who is unvaccinated or someone who is vaccinated but has a compromised immune system don't forget that you have to maintain your regular routines so wear your masks in fact even double mask if that helps you out also wash your hands with soap whenever you come back from going outside or unwrap a delivery package and if you're lazy like me you can also use sanitizer hope you guys found this useful reach out to us if you have any more questions and attend our live sessions for more information please stay home and safe and do get vaccinated as soon as you can take care